Hi, Attorney Roy Oppenheim here on behalf of Oppenheim Law. I want to wish you all a very healthy and happy 2021 and may it be a better year for all of us. I want to talk today about a Florida Supreme Court decision that came down on December 31st this past week of 2020. It's a very important decision in the area of foreclosure law jurisprudence. For those of you who follow this, I want to go into some detail, but for those of you who don't, I want to give you the 30,000 foot, foot perspective. As many of you know, uh, for the past 12 years during the foreclosure crisis, when a homeowner beat the bank, and that used to happen a lot, uh, the homeowner would be entitled to attorney fees to pay their attorneys for the time and effort that those attorneys were involved with a particular matter. And then about two or three years ago, the Florida Supreme Court in a case called Glass decided that if in fact you won your foreclosure case, meaning a homeowner beat the bank because at some point in time, the bank may not have had standing to bring the case in the first place. Somehow the Florida Supreme Court went into some sort of a rabbit hole whereby they came to the conclusion that based on the fact that maybe you didn't have standing, that you were not entitled to attorney fees against the bank. Well, fast forward in a case called Page, Page versus Deutsche Bank, uh, the fourth DCA decided that when in fact there was uh, no standing, no standing in a foreclosure case, in all bold and all caps, equaled no attorney fees, according to the fourth DCA in, in uh, Page versus Deutsche Bank, or Deutsche Bank versus Page. Uh, Page then appealed to the Florida Supreme Court, and in a six zero decision, the Florida Supreme Court rebuked the Fourth District Court of Appeals for making that determination. And in fact, by doing so, the Supreme Court reversed Glass and determined that if in fact a bank is suing a homeowner and at the time is uh, making a claim for attorney fees, for the attorney fees uh, provision that is in the mortgage and the note, then under those circumstances, under a Florida statute called 57105, where the Florida legislature made it very clear that when one side is asking for attorney fees pursuant to a provision in a contract, that that will be deemed bilateral, meaning that the other side will be entitled to attorney fees too. And so the court in Page determined, the Supreme Court court determined six, by a six to nothing decision that in fact, when a bank proceeds with looking for attorney fees and claims that they have standing at the time, notwithstanding the fact that the case is subsequently dismissed because the bank did not have standing subsequently, that there was still standing at the time that the case was brought for the jurisdiction to be there for the court to award attorney fees against the bank. Now, of course, this levels the playing field. And of course, it made no sense previously how a bank could ask for attorney fees and then lose and say, oops, we made a mistake and now you can't get attorney's fees. It was unfair, it made no sense, it was nonsensical, and it also was in direct uh, opposition to what the Florida legislature plain language of 57105 was saying. And finally, the Florida Supreme Court got it straight and they basically told the sixth, uh, the, uh, the fourth circuit court of appeals that uh, they got it wrong. And so going forward, homeowners who are in foreclosure that prevail will typically once again be entitled to attorney fees. It's a huge, huge groundbreaking decision bringing things back to where they were supposed to be in the first place. Have any questions, call me, Roy Oppenheim, 954-384-6114. We look forward to working with you. Hopefully you have a foreclosure matter. We'll be able to help you. Godspeed and have a great new year.